Good day, grade 9 math learners. For today, you're going to learn basic proportionality theorem and its converse. Previously, you learned the concept of ratio and proportion and the properties of proportion. Now, you will learn basic proportionality theorem and its converse. What is a basic proportionality theorem? And what is the converse of the basic proportionality theorem? All these questions, we're going to answer that one today. Basic proportionality theorem states that if a line segment is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides at points except the vertex, then it divides the two sides into segments of proportional lengths. For example, given this figure, triangle ABC, and there's a segment DE. If the line segment DE is parallel to line segment BC, then we can say this class. Segment DE is parallel to segment BC or side BC, then we can say, according to basic proportionality theorem, that AD over BD is equal to AE over CE. The theorem that it divides the two sides in segments of proportional lengths. So this is now our proportion. Next one. The converse of the basic proportionality theorem. If a line intersects two sides of a triangle and separates the sides into corresponding segments of proportional lengths, then the line is parallel to the third side. Okay, given this triangle ABC and there's a segment DE, so if we can Basing in the con converse of basic proportionality theorem, we can say that if AD is proportional to BD and AE over CE, then DE class here is parallel to side BC. So, it is another way of saying uh, this one. Next theorem, the mid-segment theorem. According to the mid-segment theorem, a segment whose endpoints are the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So as you can see, this a segment and the endpoints is found on the two sides of a triangle and it's parallel to the third side of a triangle, then its length is one half the length of the third side. So if this is the case, segment EC and its endpoints is the midpoint of each side of the triangle, we can say that EC is parallel to AB, then the measure of EC is one half the measure of AB. Or we could also tell that class 2EC is equal to AB. Okay, those are the three important theorems of this topic. Now we're going to use the ideas or the concept of these theorems in solving some problems. Let's have example number one. Complete the proportion GE over GO equals blank over GM given this figure. So as you can see on the figure class, we can conclude that ES and OM are, par are parallel because of this symbolism. If you can see the symbolism, you can say that the two lines are parallel. Moreover, according to the basic proportionality theorem that ES and OM, if ES and OM is parallel, then we could also conclude that the triangle GES is similar. So this is the symbolism for similar. 
is similar to triangle GOM. So I would like to draw the triangle for you. So this is the triangle GES on the figure. And this is the bigger triangle GOM. I hope you're able to visualize the two triangles on the figure. So given the proportionality, GE over GO, GE over GO equals to blank over GM. So what is the answer here? GM. So what is the corresponding side of GM on the other triangle? Yes, you are right. GS is the answer here. Next problem. Find the value of x in the figure GOM in the triangle GOM. So we already know class since we are looking for x so we could have this proportionality. So here class it is GE over GO equals GS over GM. Okay, since GE is 6 and GO is this one, so you need to add 6 and 3, so that's 9 equals GS is 8 here and GM is what we are looking for, the X. So that would be our equation now. So you need to cross multiply according to the means extreme product law so that would be 6x equals 72 and divided by 6 to simplify further then x is equals to 12 and that is now the answer very simple so now let's move on to example number three find the measure of line segment LP. If LP is 12 plus 2x and AT is 2x plus 50. So according to the mid segment theorem that in a triangle, if there's a line segment and that line segment is parallel to the third side of the triangle, then we can say that that, tri that line segment LP the measure of that line segment is one half the measure of the third side of the third side of the triangle. Okay, since LP there we will substitute LP is 12 plus 2x and 80 there is 2x plus 50. What, should, what are we going to do class? We're just going to a uh, get rid of one half so it will become we could have it as 12 plus 2x equals to 2x plus 50 over 2 so we just simplify it so we will use the means means extreme product law or just cross multiply them so it will become 2 times 12 plus 2x equals to 2x plus 50 so simplifying further, it will become 24 plus 4x equals 2x plus 50. So we're going to transpose 2x class on the other side and 24 on the other side as well. That makes their sign negative. So it will become 4x minus 2x equals 50 minus 24. Then it will become 2x equals 2. 26 divided by 2 divided by 2 the answer there is x equals to 13 and we are not yet done class since we are looking for the value or the measure of lp then we will solve lp so lp is 12 plus 2x therefore the answer here is 12 plus 2 times 13 so solving further lp is equal to 12 plus 26 so what is 12 plus 26 the answer there is 38 so the measure of lp is 38
And that would be all for today, grade 9 math learners. I hope you, you have learned something and you are now ready to answer the formative assessment. Thank you and God bless.